In today's video, I will be making nitrobenzene. The nitrobenzene made in this video will be used as a starting material to make sulfonilamide. To make the nitrobenzene, we are going to have to firstly form the nitronium ion. This was easily done by adding 82 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid into a 500 milliliter flask. The flask was then cooled with an ice bath as the next addition will be highly exothermic. With strong stirring, 61 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid is slowly added to the sulfuric acid. As the nitric acid is being added to the sulfuric acid, the sulfuric acid donates a proton to nitric acid's oxygen. Water then leaves the newly formed molecule, and the oxygen forms a double bond with the nitrogen. This will then yield our desired nitronium ion. An addition funnel was charged with 57 milliliters of benzene, and the benzene was added dropwise to the nitrating mixture. The temperature was also kept below 50 degrees Celsius to prevent side products from forming. As the benzene is being added, a pi bond from the benzene attacks the positive nitrogen which then pushes the nitronium's ions pi electrons back to the oxygen. This then forms the uranium ion. Water then picks up the acidic hydrogen, and the electrons are now free to form a double bond. This forms the nitrobenzene. After the addition of the benzene, a crude layer of nitrobenzene has formed. The contents of the 500ml flask was then transferred to a jointed flask, where it will be refluxed. A condenser was connected to the jointed flask, and the flask was heated with a water bath at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius for one hour. The contents are transferred to a separatory funnel, and the bottom layer is drained. The nitrobenzene was then washed with water. The funnel was shaken and vented. The bottom nitrobenzene layer was then drained into a beaker. The nitrobenzene was washed like this for three times. The washed nitrobenzene was then poured into a jointed flask and set up for a simple distillation. The jointed flask was wrapped in aluminium foil to help insulate the heat and increase the rate of distillate. Once there was a small amount of liquid in the jointed flask, the heat was turned off. The nitrobenzene was then dried with some anhydrous magnesium sulfate. Ideally, only 2 to 3 spatulafuls of anhydrous magnesium sulfate would be needed. But as you can see in the clip, I did it more than that which caused a low yield. As most of the magnesium sulfate absorbed the nitrobenzene, it made it harder to filter through. I forgot to record the clip, but I collected 30 milliliters of nitrobenzene, which is a low yield as I should be expecting 60 to 70 milliliters of nitrobenzene. In the next video, I will be continuing the synthesis by making aniline from the nitrobenzene made in this video.